Selling print-on-demand products with Etsy is an easy way for you to start making passive income online. And if you have been selling t-shirts and actually have one design that's really doing well, then it's always a good idea to take that design and move it over to different products to see if you can get the same interaction in that area in space. Well, in today's video, I'm sharing with you how easy it is for you to take one design that you utilize for a t-shirt and how to actually use that design on different mock-up images so you can start selling these different products online. I'm sure this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. You are here. My name is Jay, and on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. And so, if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, the main platform that we're going to utilize for today's video is Placeit. Placeit is a great space for you to create just not T-shirt mockups, but all different type of mockups for your print-on-demand products. They cover everything from tote bags, hoodies hats, mugs, and different wall art decor. And so I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to use one design on all of these products. And I'm gonna share with you how to do this right now. Now Placeit does have a number of free mockups you can use. So I'll make sure I leave the link down in my description box below for you to learn more about Placeit and if it is best for your print on demand business. Now this is Placeit. Now Placeit has a couple things you can use for your print on demand shop with Etsy. Not only can you create a ton of mockups, but right here in the platform, you can actually create t-shirt designs right here. But in our case today, we're gonna to focus on mockups and utilizing different products with our one design. And so you have mockups for the apparel space, digital space, the print space, where we can focus on flyers and business cards. And they have a designated section just for print on demand products, where we're gonna spend most of our time today. Now, one of the reasons why I like using Placeit in regards to my mock-up images because they have a great piece of technology where whatever your design is, it can literally be laid on the model shirt as if it was printed right on the t-shirt itself. And so that makes it so easy for your products to look as if this is printed out like you're a full-fledged business and that someone is wearing a t-shirt design. And this same technology is just not utilized for their t-shirts, but also for their other products, as you will see in today's video. So for our design today, I'm gonna jump into Creative Fabrica and utilize this design here. Now, what I typically do is try to utilize pre-made designs and then add in some things to make them our own. But in the case of today's video, we're just gonna utilize this soccer mom design and showcase this on different products with our mockups we're gonna utilize and place it. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to mockups, go to print on demand and go to t-shirts. And then you will find a host of different uh, mockup images you can utilize for your print on demand t-shirts. Now I like how place it has the filters on the left hand side as you can really dial down into what mock-up image you want to use. If you want to bring out a particular holiday or bring out a specific occasion, you have some options here. But in our case today, I want to go up to the search bar and just type up women t-shirt mock-ups and we can utilize some things here. So here's the first mock-up we are going to use with our design we grabbed from Creative Fabrica. Now just a couple of things that we're gonna see on multiple mock-ups that we're gonna to utilize today is that first of all, we have this text feature where we can add in some text here, just let them know that this is fast shipping. We can add in some things regarding what we see in reviews that it is a soft t-shirt. And so we can add this here if we want just as a badge to really you know, communicate the value of our product and how to highlight certain things that we know is doing well for other people with fast shipping, soft t-shirt and other things we can add here as well. I can take this out just by hitting the delete button with the text and now that is removed. I have the option of course to add in my design which we will do in a little bit and I have this option to change the t-shirt color as well as the background itself. So in our case today, for me to upload my design, I can just go to insert image. I will go find my design that I want to upload here. And I have my design we grab from Creative Fabrica. Now there's a couple of things that really makes place it easy to use when you are bringing in a design. Now you see this little box over here. This is our preview box. where We're able to see exactly how our design 
will be laid on our mock-up image. And from here, I have this box highlighting exactly where I can go in regards to my t-shirt mock-up. Now, if it's not in the box, then of course it will not show up on the mock-up. So everything I do must remain inside of the visible box here. And again, what I found to work out best is just to move my design up when I'm making t-shirts. And as I see here on the preview, it is looking perfect on our model. Now, if you are using a different design and need to scale up the image a little bit more, we do have this option here to make the design bigger so you can see exactly how it looks on your shirt. But in our case today, the design looks perfect at 100%. And so we wanna focus on this design right here. Now, if everything looks well, I can go ahead and hit the crop button. And what it will do is that it will crop this design to fit perfectly on my mock-up image. And now I have it here. Now, if I want to go to this next stage, and I have to change the color of my t-shirt. I can go to the t-shirt function here, make this a little sand color, change the color to maroon if I so choose. But again, in our case today, I think just a simple white t-shirt looks best for this design. So if we are done with our mock-up design, one of the things that we're gonna utilize for all of our products is the download button here. And this download button can sometimes be confusing if you don't know what the download button is doing. Originally, you would think it's just going to download immediately on your computer. But what Placeit is actually doing is that it's saving this particular design on your Placeit account. That means you can access this mock-up image from whatever computer you're working from, either you're working from a home computer, uh, like a desktop, and then you move over to your laptop. It is going to save this particular mock-up image on your place of the account. And then it will give you, as you see here, the option to download this to whatever device you are using. In our case today, we want to do this because we want to upload this to our you know, image uh, for our listing on Etsy. And so again, you have two options here. You can save this to come back again on your place of the account, or if you're done with everything and you're ready to utilize this on your Etsy listing, go ahead and hit download to your computer. And then this will give you that file to upload to your Etsy listing. So our next mock-up design that we're gonna focus on is a hoodie. So I can just go up into the search bar, start typing in hoodie. And as you can see, we already have some results coming up. And so again, this is so helpful because it makes it so easy and so quick to find multiple products right here in our space. And so again, I wanna focus on this image here. And so I can just open this up. And again, all the things we saw in our t-shirt mock-up space, we still have those options here for us to utilize on our hoodie design. So with our hoodie mock-up design, we have our same options as we did with our t-shirt. We have our text insert image again change hoodie color and change some background color as well now in our case today if i have already utilized a design i can find that design in recent uploads but i just want to share with you some steps if you are just doing this straight off with a hoodie and where you can find your design so i will go to upload from my device again i find my soccer mom t-shirt design that we use for our t-shirt and again i will see the same option to place this on my hoodie now again i still have this preview on the side where i can see exactly how you know my mock-up is going to look before i even download this which makes it so helpful and again i can just align this up properly so it can look exactly the way i want it to be on my hoodie design from here if everything looks well i'm going to go ahead and hit crop image and again it will crop the image right on the design to make it look as if it is printed right on the product if everything looks good here, I can go ahead and hit download again. And again, this will save to my place of the account. And then I can move over to download this file and upload this to my Etsy listing. So now we have our design that we're going to use on our tote bag. And if you see here, our design is a little bit too big for our mock-ups that we're utilizing today. This is where the bottom option here will come in handy as we are able to scale this down and fit our overall design. Now, it is good to have whatever print provider you're using, like in my case, I'm utilizing Printify, and they give me a default mock-up where I can see exactly the proper scale for my product. So it's always good to have that up so that I can match that size and that scaling to whatever product I am using in place. And so I have the scaling dialed in with the bottom here. I can go back and check to make sure this is scaled properly and everything is in the shot. And if it is, I can go ahead and hit crop and it will crop out that image as it did with all of the other type of products we have done. Everything looks good here. I can hit download and use this on my next Etsy listing.
Now, Etsy is also a great place for you to sell wall art design or wall art decor, and they have options in Printify for you to actually ship out these type of products to your customer. And so if you're trying to find you know, different ways to utilize that same design, using it on a wall art design can be an extra space for you to actually go into a new category and sell that same type of product. And so in our case today, as we wrap up this video, we do have a wall art decor design that we're going to utilize for our last version of mock-ups that we're going to take again using that baseball mom and lay it up here again we still have those same functions here but one of the functions that we have here is the book color change and so on place that you're going to realize that if they do have some type of you know element or variable in the shot like our book here you are able to change the color of that just to fit your overall design and your overall color style but in our case today we're just going to stick with a basic color added our image again go to upload from our device grab our soccer mom design and again this can be you know a soccer mom design it could be a child's you know birthday design it could be a child's name that you're putting here for the wall uh, uh, art design whatever you choose to do the whole goal here is that you are able to lay this up the exact same way we have been doing with everything else and again this makes it so easy again we just did about five different designs or mock-up designs all in one program and again we're utilizing the same design laying up on different mock-ups and we are able to actually showcase this in our etsy shop if we are selling these type of products in our shop so again i can change the poster if i want the color of it and i can change that to be red i can change that to be beige but again with our design here i think just having it white will do well for us and i can hit download and now this is just one more type of product i can sell on etsy all utilizing the same design for other products so as you can see, creating different mock-up images for your print-on-demand business is really easy to do with Placeit. They have a large category of different print-on-demand products you can actually use for you to showcase what your product is all about. Now, Placeit was so kind to give my audience a discount code for you to actually get started at a cheaper price. However, they have a ton of different free mock-ups you can play around with right now to see if this is best for your print on demand business. I make sure I leave all the links down in my description box below for you to gain access quickly to using Placeit for your Etsy shop. Now in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to create amazing titles to actually get people to your Etsy listing. However, if you want to know my exact strategy of how I create engaging titles and engaging tags, then check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.